hi guys welcome back to my channel now before we jump right in i ask that you like this video as it helps a lot and subscribe thank you for the support now john krasinski i believe that's how you pronounce it krasinski is people magazine's 2024 sexiest men alive and some people are pissed about the selection so, John graced the cover of People magazine wearing a t-shirt and jeans, and he's sitting on the bumper of a New York City yellow cab. And social media was instantly divided, with some loving the pic, while others, they were, you know, bitching about John is cute, but he's just not sexy. John has starred in many Hollywood films. I don't know if you guys know who he is. I don't even know who this guy is. But <laughs> he has starred in many, many films, such as A Quiet Place and this movie called If, um, both of which he also directed. He also got his big break in the TV sitcom The Office. I've never watched that show. By the way, John is married to actress Emily Blunt. They've been married for 14 years and they live in Brooklyn, New York with their two daughters, okay? Now, Emily Blunt, I like her and it seemed like I've watched her in many, many movies, but that's not true because I just Googled to see, you know, her movies, what movies she's been in. And I've only watched her in The Devil Wears Prada. But it felt like I've seen her in a lot of movies. <laughs> so maybe I'm mistaking her for, um, what's that girl name? in Clueless. Remember that snobby, red hair? Um, Amber, Amber. Yes, that's her name, Amber. Um, yeah, they kind of have the same kind of bitchy you know so maybe that's why i don't know but <laughs> i've only watched emily blunt in one movie the devil was prada but it felt like i've seen her in many movies that is so odd but in that movie the devil was prada she did amazing i like her accent i like her facial expression she was just <laughs> she was like hardcore you know, um, that movie was good. Um, so, yeah. So, she's married to this guy, John Krasinski. Okay. So, John was spotted with Ben Affleck and Matt Damon in New York City right after being chosen People Magazine's 2024 Sexiest Men Alive. They whined and dined at this restaurant called Missy. It's an Italian restaurant in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, and, you know, Ben Affleck was named People's Sexiest Men Alive way back in 2002. And Matt Damon took home the honor in 2007. So all three men, you know, have graced the cover of People Magazine's Sexiest Men Alive. And the thing is... They are originally, all of them, all three of them, are originally from the Boston metro area, okay? So let's talk about the internet because the internet was set off when John's cover was released. <laughs> oh my God. So one fan wrote, is this for real? <laughs> oh gosh. While another said, after the week we just had? <laughs> I'm sorry, but this thing is funny. So, so someone else, another user questioned, did all the other men on earth die? Oh my God, the internet has no chill. Did all the other men on earth die? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> You know, while a number of people were outraged, John had a fair share of support on his side, too. Okay, even John, he joked that he had an immediate blackout upon hearing he received the title. And despite the new title, John doesn't think much will change at home with his wife and two daughters. 
He said, I think it's going to make me do more household chores. After this comes out, she'll be like, all right, that means you're going to really earn it here at home. <laughs> That's right, Emily. Yeah, let him know. <laughs> Look, you can't please everyone. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's what they say, right? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So what may be handsome or sexy to some may not be handsome or sexy to others. It is what it is, okay? Um, so let's see all the 36 men who have been named people's sexiest men alive. Okay, so here we go. So this year was John Krasinski, okay? We just covered him. Uh, last year, 2023, was Patrick Dempsey. Okay. All right. Not bad. 2022 was Chris Evans. He's from Captain America. Um, all right. Okay. 2021 was Paul Rod from Clueless. Oh, my gosh. I just talked about Clueless earlier. Okay, I guess. 2020, Michael B. Jordan. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, my gosh. What? I do not agree. 2019, John Legend. Oh, heck no. I remember that. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Wow. 2016, Idris Elba. Okay. 2017, Blake Sheldon. I don't know about all that. <laughs> 2016, Dwayne The Rock. I don't know. He's too bulky. Mm -mm -mm. 2015, David Beckham. Okay, he was a hottie then. Yeah, he, he's cute. 2014, Chris Hemsworth. Uh, he's from the Avengers franchise. 2013, Adam Levine, I guess. 2012, Shannon Tatum, nah, he doesn't do it for me. Mm -mm. 2011, Bradley Cooper, definitely no. That guy is a sicko, he's sick. He is sick. 2010, Ryan Reynolds, okay, yeah, yeah, all right. 20, 2009, Johnny Depp. Okay, all right. 2008, Hugh Jackman, I guess. <laughs> 2007, Matt Damon, I guess. 2006, George Clooney. Now, I have to say, George Clooney is wow. I like, you know, the whole salt and pepper, but he's a sickle. I heard that he's, um, I heard that he's uh, into, you know, you know, he's, you know, he's, he bats for the other team, but not only that, he, he likes them very young. That's what they say, okay? But, yeah, whatever, okay. So, um, Matthew McConaughey, two, 2005, okay. I guess 2004 is uh Jude Law. Yeah, I like him in that movie Alfie. And you know, I remember there was a there was a video that came out. Someone recorded uh Lindsay Lohan in a public bathroom and she was like popular then when she came out she was like the it girl at the time and you know they recorded her sniffing that white powder in the bathroom, and she was bragging about how she had a rendezvous, a SEX rendezvous coming up. She was going to fly out to see Jude Law just for SEX. So a lot of these men in Hollywood, if they want to sleep with you, all they have to do is have their assistant contact the other person's assistant to get that celebrities information you know their their number their telephone number and then they'll contact the celebrity and then they'll set up a a day a rendezvous to hook up just for sex so a lot of these women are there for pleasure 
to pleasure these men, you don't get to say no. If they want you, they will contact. There's they have their assistant contact that person's assistant to get their number, and then from there they will set up a rendezvous just for sex. That's what a lot of these Hollywood female celebrities are. They are a uh, high ranking. Prostitutes, seriously, they really are. They are high-ranking prostitutes for these, you know, Hollywood men, singers, actors, you name it, uh, sports athletes. That's what these women, these celebrities, and men, not just women. If these men want you, you don't get to say no. That's why. Remember when Ashton Kutcher. He was exposed. His car was spotted outside of Rihanna's house at three in the morning. Remember, years ago, yeah, Ashton Kutcher was caught outside of Rihanna's house. Okay, was caught at Rihanna's house at three in the morning. Okay, so if they want you, you you don't have a choice but to. They are so loose. That's why I'm like these women are just there. They are high level prostitutes. These Hollywood singers, actresses, you name it. If these Hollywood men want you, yeah, you have you you have to go. You have to yeah, you have to go. They all so loose. That's why, it, like the the STD rates is so high in Hollywood because they all sleep with each other. But anyway, let's. Move on. Who's next? So, 2004 was Jude Law. Okay. 2003, Johnny Depp again. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, 2002, Ben Affleck. This was around the time he was dealing with J-Lo. See, look, the cover even says, plus, what his mom thinks of J-Lo. I told you his mom never liked Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> so, oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so who else? Piers Brosnan. Oh, my goodness. The older this guy gets, the sexier. How is that even possible? This guy is, wow. So, oh, that guy, he deserved that title. Piers Brosnan, that is, that guy is sexy. Beyond sexy. Like, how do you keep getting sexier the older you get? Like, how? <laughs> I love the salt and pepper and his, like, I just love it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt 2000. He graced the cover. 2000. Now, I don't like him on this cover. I like the long hair Brad Pitt from The Legends of the Fall. Oh, he was freaking fine. What? The Legends of the Fall? That movie was amazing. I cried. Whew, that movie, my gosh. <laughs> that movie was great, but Brad Pitt, my goodness. Long hair. Whew. Okay, let me calm down. Okay, so 1999, Richard Gere. Okay, he was fine and uh, pretty women. Walking down the street. <laughs> yeah. 1998, Harrison Ford, I guess. And um, 1997, George Clooney again. Again, yeah. Yeah. But he's a sickle. Yeah. He's a sickle. But yeah, he with that salt and pepper. 1996, Denzel Washington. Okay. Back then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 1995, Brad Pitt again. Yes, this is the Brad Pitt. Look at that. The long hair. Yes. Woo! 1995. Wow. That's the Brad Pitt that was fine. My goodness. Keanu Reeves, 1994. I don't know about Keanu Reeves. I heard that he swings for the other, you know. <laughs> but a lot of women loves him. 1993, Richard Gere and Sandy Crawford. Okay. 1992, Nick Nolte. Okay. 1991, Patrick Swayze. Okay. 
1990, Tom Cruise, I guess. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I guess. 1989, Sean Connery. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back then? I've seen his pictures back then. Wow. 1988, John F. Kennedy Jr. I don't know, but they said he was good looking. He was very good looking, they said. So... 1987, Harry Hamlin. I don't know who that is. He looks familiar on the cover, but 1986, Mark Harmon. I don't even know who this guy is. 1985, Mel Gibson. So Mel Gibson was number one, the first ever, first ever sexiest man alive. People Magazine, Sexiest Men Alive. Okay, I guess. So there you have it, all 36 men, okay, who received the Sexiest Men Alive, People Magazines. <laughs> I can't believe John Legend was on there. I can't believe he... <laughs> John Legend and uh, who else? Uh, Michael B. Jordan, really? Come on. Come on. But yeah, well, there you have it, you guys. So what are your thoughts about this guy, John Krasinski? If you know him, what are your thoughts on him being People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive for 2024? Or what are your thoughts on these other guys who grace the cover? All right? Leave it in the comments. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.